Welcome back to the Houston Astrodome for more Toyota Presents EA Sports Supercross. Getting set for the second qualifying heat of the evening. Jeremy McGrath, the points leader, but not by much, as we mentioned before. Kevin Windham, Ricky Carmichael, who looked so good in practice. Tim Ferry, Jeremy's teammates in this one, along with Greg Albertine of Team Suzuki. Larry Ward, he'll be riding in this heat. Keith Voss, a very fine privateer. The board is sideways, and we're set to go for our second qualifier. Larry Ward, number 10 on the outside, hits the whoops first, but here comes Tim Perry and Jeremy McGrath. McGrath gets bucked out by Ricky Carmichael, number four. Ricky now in second place behind Jeremy's teammate, Tim Ferry, number 15. Larry Ward is getting challenged by Jeremy McGrath. So much for that challenge. McGrath is already around, pulls a tear off. He's in third. And the amazing thing is he got a terrible jump out of the gate, got closed off. He almost went into the lead to the whoop section. This guy does not mess around. Ricky Carmichael bobbling a bit. And he's got Jeremy right there to try and take advantage. Anybody else in Jeremy's shoes going to the first corner where he was would not be in this position right now. He is so quick in that first half a lap to take advantage of anybody that may be just a little lackadaisical waiting to get into their flow. Jeremy attacks him right away. Both Tim Ferry, number 15, and Ricky Carmichael, number four, are coming off their best performances of the season. McGrath. Carmichael can't slip back into second place. That may just be the fastest anyone's got to that whoop section all weekend. McGrath made a huge statement right there, and he's doing it again to his teammate. And here comes Jeremy as Tim Perry looks to his right. McGrath quickly in the lead. Boy, that determination that was in his eyes after the last race. After the last two races, as a matter of fact, he was so frustrated. After San Diego, without that front brake, he felt like he was in a fight, getting beat up with his hands tied. And then he had a little bit of a, a miscue with information, didn't realize Villeman was on him last week. So two weeks in a row, he felt he should have won. He didn't. He's out here to prove he can this week. We'll see if Tim Perry can hold on to second. He took second in the opening heat of the year in Anaheim. But Ricky Carmichael might have something to say about that. Jeremy McGrath has won every heat so far this year. Here's the battle for point. Drake Albertine and Kevin Windham, number 14. Kevin puts a good block pass on him, and Albertine came right back. Thought he might have him back, but Kevin just cut off the opportunity. Kevin Windham moves into the transfer spot, the fourth position. Ricky Carmichael makes the pass. Something's wrong with Ferry, it looks like, right now. Yes, he's pulling off and slowing down as Ricky Carmichael comes over the finish line, jump with Kevin Windham right behind him and Greg Albertine. So Larry Ward is on the bubble right now. Here's our leader, Jeremy McGrath. When we return to the Houston Astrodome, we'll see the checkers flying. Welcome back as Toyota Trucks presents EA Sports Supercross from Houston's Astrodome. Our leader is Jeremy McGrath, but Ricky Carmichael's been able to pick some time up on him, David. He has, and it surprised me a little bit because Jeremy got out of the lead so quickly and separated himself, turned a 54-second lap time, the fastest all day on my watch, and Carmichael's closing the gap a little bit. So Ricky is motivated, does not want to see Jeremy pull away. He wants to let him know between now and the main event, he'd better be thinking about him because he's got the speed tonight. This great 125 rider, who's now trying to make the transition to 250s, is taking it a step at a time, but a step in the right direction. In getting his first podium last week. Now in second place in this qualifying heat. This would be, with the exception of the winner last week, winning his heat, his best performance in a qualifier. He messed up his timing right there. They've been tripling through there and then tripling into the corner. 
Tevin didn't do it that lap either. Jeremy did, so he's going to pull that gap open again. A 54-second lap time, that last lap for Jeremy, so he dipped back under the 55. These guys turned to 55, and that's the difference. Jeremy opening up the lead. McGrath saying he was surprised when he was caught and passed by Villeman last week. Came back with a vengeance saying it's not going to happen again. If you watch him ride, he is so aggressive. Watch him this whoop section. Just takes off in there. Flags waving. He doesn't care. He'll steer around it. The guy just stays on the top of those things. Every lap consistent the same way. Let's get out of Davey. Guys, you were trying to figure out what happened to Tim Ferry when you pull off the side of the track. His entire rear brake assembly fell off. It looked like he got hit in one of those corners. Tim Ferry's going to have to go to the semi. Well, he must have been hit. There's no reflection on Jerry Chambers, his wrencher, because he's one of the best. As we take a look at Ricky Carmichael in second place. Look at the body English he used. That's beautiful. He sits down in the air, puts his leg out. He's already ready for the corner before he even gets there. A neat little trick Jeff Ward used to do. One of the shorter riders on the circuit. Carmichael, very similar to Jeff Ward's build. He can get away with that. White flag is out. Jeremy McGrath in the last lap was only six one hundredths of a second faster than Carmichael. But Jeremy now on a slick pace. He's feeling it. He knows he has enough of a lead to win this thing. The crowd is going crazy and he's letting him know he appreciates it. He has a timing down that straightaway that he's able to do every lap. These guys haven't figured it out yet. That's an advantage for him. There's faster ways down that straightaway, but you can't do it consistent. Jeremy doesn't like to take big chances. He wants to do things fast enough and smooth enough. He can do it all the race. Jeremy approaches the checkers and captures his fifth straight qualifying heat victory in the year 2000. Making a statement this time is Jeremy McGrath as Ricky Carmichael sails across in second. On the Honda results page, Jeremy McGrath followed by Ricky Carmichael, Kevin Windham, and Greg Albertine, the top four, getting the transfer directly to the main event. Let's go down to Davey. Man, Jeremy, you look like you wanted to win that one bad. I know it's been a tough week, a lot of speculation about last week on PaceSupercross.com all week long. A lot was made of that, but you come out here firing. Yeah, you know, Houston here, I feel really good. The dirt's really good. And, you know, after last week, I just went home. I had a lot of time to think. And uh, I, I trained really hard. And I just want to give myself 20 hard laps. And that was eight. We got 20 more to go. What about Billiman? He won the heat race in front of you. Did you watch him at all? Yeah, I was watching David a lot. And, uh, you know, you got to hand it to him. He's a great rider. And he's come a long ways over this off season. And, you know, I, I mean, I get to ride with him every day. So I see what he's doing. And... He's picking it up really fast, and, uh, you know, hats off to him. He rode a great race. Right now, we'll look for you two in the main. All right, thanks a lot. I, I just need a little better start. I think, I think I can do a little better than that. 